Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play 7 Days to Die Alpha 18 Experimental Vanilla! Well, Alpha 19 Experimental Vanilla, I should say. Oh, well, I'm actually getting my alphas now already. Too many uh, crossy, crossing over series, guys. So, in the last episode, guys, we got ahead and got our forge set up over here. So, we made like, a nice little forge outhouse place, got this set up, and then we've gone ahead and uh, done a little bit of improvement to our house. This bottom layer area here is now cobblestone, which is going to definitely help keep it safe from the zombies. Um, and now, we've gone ahead and got some more stuff from the trader so I actually managed to find a hunter mod which I'm going to install into my bow so let's modify this guy and add you to it so that means it's going to do two more damage to base but then to living beings like animals for example it's going to do even more damage now which is very nice so definitely going to take that because that's awesome uh, next we also got ahead and found a helmet light mod so the next thing I'm going to do is after my fire axe makes I'm going to make myself a or my peck axe makes which I think is actually done yes it is there you go there's a pickaxe um i'm gonna go ahead and make myself a i guess a padded helmet a padded hood and that will complete my armor set right so that's a good idea so where's my cloth we need cloth and we need duct tape to make this work uh, and there's a sewing kit here as well okay cloth duct tape there you are and then let's go padded and we can get a padded hood there you go get one of them doesn't take too long to make and then we can modify this and put the mining light on that thing. So the helmet light can go there. So modify it and then put you on it. Excellent. And then I can wear this thing. Nice. So that gives me much more protection. It has plus 75 max durability compared to my hat, which does give me some cold resist. But yeah, I think uh, I think it's time for this uh, old press by cap to have say goodbye so let's go and get rid of that um actually i will keep the duct tape and the leather because i will need some more for tools so let's go and take that again and let's go and see how our iron is doing in here now because i did smell i did get loads more started so now 28 forged iron to come out here so after five more forged iron i'll be able to make a fire axe which is going to be a lot better than my current one so let's go ahead and just wait it out here and now i think what i can do i can also get uh, empty water jars as well uh, or they used to be called glass jars but I can get, now get 35 empty jars or 36 if you look at it here but yeah I should be able to get a load of these pretty quickly which is very nice so yeah you know we'll get um we'll let this kind of craft up here so 37 is my maximum so I'm guessing it's going to take oh yeah it's one clay each nice why is the sand not melting here is there a bug going on here oh no I can't do it so yeah let me make it to 40 jars and we should be good so one more jar, come on, you need to do it. Do it now! Melt up the sand! There you go, so we need 500. Ah, uh, 4, 6, 8. Oh, there you go, we can do it. So you go 40. Craft those. I think that's just a little bug right there. Okay, and now I can get a regular fire axe as well. Iron fire axe, look at that. And then last thing we want to do is get repair kits. And then we can do those. So I can get four repair kits because that's going to be needed to repair our tools as we use them. Um, and they don't come so easily as just regular stone, right? So we've got to bear that in mind. So the rest of the duct tape, I think, is going to go on those. Can we make a wrench off the workbench now? It's a tier one thing. We can, yeah. It takes 18 forged iron. Uh, oh, and actually, we can make a tier two one, right? So yeah, maybe we should work on getting a tier two wrench as well because that could be very nice. Um, and then we can, yeah, we can melt down our tier one wrench here. So let's go, let's go get our tier one, which is this guy. What you can do is you can put all your old tools in here, and you can melt these down for additional iron. It's so got eight iron there. But yeah, if we get eighteen more of these, which we will be able to, because as you can see, there's like ten more of these coming out. We will definitely be able to go and make ourselves a wrench. Um, so there's also the um, there's also an impact driver, isn't there? Yeah, the impact driver right here is pretty cool. It requires salvage operations uh, or an impact driver schematic. Great for disassembling mechanical devices like cars, air conditions, and more. Repair with the regit and salvage to salvage tool parts. Okay, so a uh, completely new set of parts. But yeah, if we can get some uh, motor tool parts and stuff like that, we can use those to make something a little bit better. So yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. Um, getting ourselves a impact driver i think that's probably salvage operations five so the once you maxed it out that's that'll be the one you have to use which uh which suits me just fine but yeah I'm, I'm so looking forward to getting rid of the stone axe guys and going for the iron fire axe it's gonna be very nice so there's 17 and then one more 
and then we can also craft a wrench with a couple of mechanical parts and some duct tape. There you go. Actually, there's one more forge line coming up here too, isn't there? So if we do that, there you go. And then I can do a wrench once I get the mechanical parts, and then we should then have a tier two to use, which is going to be very nice. So the wrench then, let's go and grab the mechanical parts that I managed to get in the last episode, craft one of those, and then again we're going to go and do some more repair kits too, because we're going to need them. So any last repair kits we can do, if I can spell it right, so repair kits, do one more of those and that'll get rid of that. And now we don't have to carry wooden stone on us anymore, because these can go away and we just carry our repair kits. Uh, the only thing I need to carry stone for is a stone shovel, but we're going to get cobblestone and stuff with it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, scrap the stone axe now, because I don't need it. So, oh, I can't scrap it because my key's full. But yeah, I don't need the stone axe, so that can go, I guess, in my tools box. And then we'll scrap it later when we want to get a couple bits of extra stone. Not that I really need it, but that's fine. So how's our fire axe doing? So we've got 50 seconds left on the fire axe. And then resource gathering should be a little bit faster. It's going to be very nice. So yeah, there's a lead node right here. But yeah, I need to pretty much be finding iron and cobblestone now. Because those are the more important things to grab. I think there's a coal node too here, right? Or is that a regular rock? That is just a regular rock. But yeah, doing 50 damage per swing. Very nice. There you go. So yeah, that's definitely definitely a good improvement. I just hopeful very soon we're going to get uh, another sexual transverse level. Because I definitely need one. Because as you can see, we're still undergoing pretty heavy stamina usage, so... I think 6 Rex 2 is going to be required to reduce stamina with iron tools just a bit. There you go. So yeah, out of that we got a little bit more stone. See? 67 more stone. Very nice. Alright, so where do we want to go now? There's plenty of places around here that we can loot, but where do we need to go? Let's see. There's always this house. Yeah, this is this one I cleared out the, uh, the front earlier, so why don't we go and have a look and see if this house has anything good to offer. Doesn't look like it's got anything over here. But if we come around this side, maybe, there might be something good here. There's also the big hotel there. Gotta go in the back. Nope, that's locked too. Where to go? Oh, I see we've got to climb up here. See, so we're going to go up there. And then go over here and then drop in. Oh, and not fall, not fall out the window as well. That's uh, another thing. Pulling out the window is, is never a good idea. Alright, we are in. So there is a couple of, couple of things right here that i got to chop out. So our fire axe is now ready. There we go, it's a tier 2 one. And we can just go 1 and 2. So drop in here. Oh, I'm stepping on more trash right there. Get rid of that. Okay, so that wrench I can use. Once I get the wrench I can use it to take apart the beds and stuff, get more things out of that. Uh, oh, it looks like there is a... Um, trap above me here, look. Yeah, it looks like there should there could be zombies up there. Let's go and have a look. No, none so far. Let's just open the cell just in case. Nope, nothing there. Okay, so there's a way that goes up here which we're going to probably need to follow. Where it goes down as well. So there's an up or a down. Life is full of ups and downs, isn't it, guys? There we go. Um, <laughs> man, the, the, the puns are so bad. You guys are like, Max, stop it, please. Please, your, your, your puns are hurting us, please. <laughs> uh, okay, what's up in here, anyway? I, I did see something to search for there. Okay. There's a bag up here. What's in the bag? So in the bag, we have four empty jars. Very nice. And then what's in this uh, garment bag here? We have some denim pants, which are not as good as what I've got. I can harvest that for plastic and wood as well. And that's pretty much everything in here. Alright, so we are done with this area. Is there anything behind here? There is a weathered backpack behind here. Let's have a look and see what's in there. Uh, Tilly stone sledge, not worry about that, and some bandages. I'll take those. Never hurts to have spare bandages every now and then, guys, so definitely take them. Oh, hello. I did not even see that. So, go this way a bit, and take aim, and go. Very nice. Okay, so she's out. Oh, what have we got in here? We have... Oh, look at this. We have a 4x4 trunk accessories schematic and the Night Stalker Volume 2. Silent Night. Uh, hide in the shadows and sneak 5% better at night. Nice. That is awesome. That's definitely going to help me a lot when it comes to nighttime loops. Okay, anyone in here? Oh, there's a closet over there. Look. There you go. Let's go and do that and I should be able to get this guy down in one go. Up a bit. Got him! There you go, straight down. 
Man, the sexual sneak damage of the bow though is really something. Anyone else in this closet? No. Nope. Okay, so what is in this little area? It's kind of like a hidden away area. What's oh, the ladder here? Look. Ah, this would be that bit that led to the roof earlier. Okay, so come up here. And then there is a box here, a garage storage box. Just stashed away in the attic here. Okay, some 62s and some stuff here, very nice. Ooh! Ah, okay, that drops me back down to here. Okay, so that's fine. As long as I know what's going on and where we're going, then we're good. Okay, so come up here again. So that way drops me down. This way drops me to a bathroom. And then that way is the bit that I kind of opened out. So maybe there's something else down here. So, oh, there's missing texture right there. But... Huh. Oh, yeah, there's uh, any, any other open areas here? Not really. Yeah, there's not really anything here that's anything special. Oh, our wrench is done too. Nice. So let's get that in our hot bath. Okay, so it's going on here. So yeah, we could go this way. Or just kind of this way. Yeah, let's, let's just come back down this way. Nice. And then we can do this. Get any extra cloth from here. And we can take apart all the bedspreads and stuff and go for that. Okay, so this one. There you grab that one. And let's see what else we got here. A desk that we can search, which is quite uncommon. Uh, a shirt, which is mm, a little better than what I was wearing, I guess. Okay, actually, yeah, it's weather. That's better than my plant fiber top. There you go. So let's go and grab these guys. Very good. So yeah, grab any extra little bits of cloth we can find. And there's a trash can that I never looked in either. So that has some wood. Very good. Because remember, guys, it's always good to have wood. This door is locked. I can just bust through that very easy. And this is the bit where we fell into, or that we could fall into, in the bathroom. So let's chop that up. Bath I can't do, that's fine. Let's see what's in here. So in the sink we have three more coffee. Nice, so we're going to be running coffee for days now, I think. Uh, three more of those. And we had nothing else in there. So coffee and murky water. Pretty much what we have to look forward to here. That's right. So let's go and grab those, get the short iron pipes out of the sink, and let's head back this way. Right, so there's no one in here? No, no one in here. So yeah, this way, wait, this way I came in, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so of course there'll be no one in here, because, you know, like, I kind of already cleared the room! <laughs> uh, no one there? No, no one there, so that's all good. So yeah, we got we got a choice, you can get upwards or downwards. So if we get upwards... I can't get through there yet, so I guess we have to smash it open. And that one as well, I guess. Come through here. Okay, who's up in here? Probably some Zed up in here. Waiting for us. So, oh, hello. I see you. Gotcha. She's dead. Okay. Is that it? Is there an exercise bike up here? I think so, yep. Yeah. Pretty much everything out here, so just one exercise bike, which I believe gives you forged iron if you take it apart. So, let's see if we're right. Or mechanical parts, yeah, one of the two. Oh, yeah, it's okay, it's the treadmill that gives you forged iron, that just gives you like a little bit of regular, regular scrappy iron. Uh, oh, a BDU top, um, which is much better than what I currently have. So, take that, scrap that, and then scrap this. So, yeah, the BDU top is very awesome, I definitely like to wear that if I can. Um, anything else here? There is a trash can right here, a trash bag. Three money. Alright, I'll take that. And there's a cobblestone right there, but there is also a cardboard box right here that we can grab with seven shotgun shells. Look at that, that is perfect. So, definitely having that is a good thing. Uh, let's go and chuck out the glass because I don't need that from destroying the junk. And yeah, we can dig out this pallets as well because we're going to need them anyway. Very nice. And there's one there, there's one here. Because, yeah, we did build a lot of uh, stuff with cobblestone earlier, and I upgraded a lot to cobblestone, so that used a lot of the rocks that we had already. That's okay. We can just go ahead and grab this lot. And off we go. Okay, so let's go and make our way down then. And obviously, the correct way to go is going to be downwards. Alright, so down here. Hmm, there's bookshelves here. Any zombies in the room? Well, it could be in the room. Nope. Okay, so three neutral shelves. Let's see what we get. Oh, look at that. Automatic weapons, hammer volume 5. Recoil. I tell my privates, pinch, don't flinch. Use the technique to walk your fire into the target when firing automatic weapons. So the automatic fire is more accurate with each shot fired. Nice. 
All right, so let's have a look and see what we got in here. So we got a oh, weapon, a weapon extender, magazine extender, what's going on? Nice. And then we got another night nice stalking volume two. Okay, well, I'll take that into the paper. Why not? Okay, nothing. Else. Oh, I woke someone up. I like who's there. Gotcha. Oh, she just poked her head around the corner, and down she went. And look, this one's going to be a same, a similar fate. That's what you get. Yeah, so that's what you get for just like poking your head around the corner and seeing what's going on. You should have just not been nosy, right? You would have been alive a lot longer. A whole 10 seconds longer if you'd have just not been nosy. But nope, you had to had to ruin that one, didn't you? Nope. <sighs> ruin everything. Stupid zombies. Okay, anything in here? Junk. Uh, no one else in there? Nope. Okay, so now we're in the kitchen area. Let's see what we get. So in the oven, we get cooking pots. And we're all up! Hey! That is awesome. Okay, so now we're at strength three with the help of that stuff. Let's get uh, Central Transverse three. Um, oh yeah, King Blues grants 10 sound, which is actually really nice as well. So yeah, we'll take this guy, and this means that uh, anything like pickaxe and stuff now take less um, less out of us per power attack. Oh, working someone up. Okay, hello. Yeah, what are you doing? Well, there's two of them. Got him. Got him. You get down you go. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, so we had some guys down there, but that's okay. Get the wrench again, so we got a microwave. What's in this thing? Uh one jar of water. Nice. Two, three. Grab those and let's see what's in here. So in this one we have a wrench tier one. You know, what, I'll keep the tier one wrench actually for my workbenches, because eventually we're gonna need a wrench to make the workbench, so we may as well just keep that for now. What's in here? A shirt and a skirt. And then this thing right here. It's all good. And then Oh, uh somebody just roundly died. Alright, well thank you very much. That's handy for me. <laughs> that works out for me, doesn't it? There we go. Uh, there's a cooler right here. And that has... Oh, mineral water in it. Okay, you know what? We'll have that because that's more efficient digestion. As you can see, we're getting hungry again. Man, hunger is just like a constant thing in this, isn't it? It's like, oh, man. Ugh. Just trying to get enough food is actually a struggle now. Which is a good thing. I, I like it like that. I enjoy the struggle. Empty cans. Alright, you know what? One... And two, let's just get electrical parts out of that. Alright, let's go on this way. And now it's like we're, we've ended up in the garage. Alright. Smash this car up, get whatever we can out of it. Uh, oh! There is a level below the house. Well, hello. So, not working workbench, but we can still go and see what's in there. Tissue so next. Nothing good. Oh, I didn't do that. Okay, you know what? Break this apart as well, because this is going to be forged iron. And a lot of it. So it's going to do that. There you go. 12 forged iron from that. That's really nice. Uh, anything else in here? Okay, here we go. This one. Okay, not bad. So this one. Uh, four. It's around here. So what is down here? Aha! There's a tunnel. Oh boy. Wait a minute. There's going to be a zombie barrel thing down here. Would be nice. I, I have a feeling there's going to be something nasty down here. Let's uh, equip this thingy. Okay, where are we going now? Oh, hello. A hidden room. Okay. There is... Okay, that's just trash. Okay, nothing in there. Yeah, so, hmm. Oh, I like one for you. Very disgusting. This and looks like this is where the loop is at. But we can go around here and just take this guy down. Okay, didn't like that. Okay, come on, you. Got him. This guy right here. He sounds off. Nice. Cool. Anyone else in there? No, let's do these back out to the front here. Excellent. So there is a shipping bag here with some ammo in it. 
we're going here? We've got a blunderbuss. Stone spears hit that. Uh, Sensex TI. This blunderbuss, you can scrap it. But you know what? Let's try the blunderbuss. Because you know what I haven't done in a while? Is play the blunderbuss. There you go. Okay, and we can actually reload this thing pretty fast as well, which is very nice. Alright. Got the power attacks into there. We should be in. Very good. So, shower box. Hope there's some good food in here. No, just plastics. So, none of that great. But yeah, now you have to play with the blunderbuss to see what happens. Nice. So, here we go. Grab these. And the work is this box. What do we get? Anything good? We got ourselves an iron virus tier 1. A stone shovel tier 3, which I guess is better than my tier 2 one. Right. 11 compared to 10. Yes, it's, it's like better in every way. So, let's go ahead and do that. Just repair it real quick. Alright, so that's better. And a stone axe we can get rid of because we've got no fire axe now. So, we are no need of a stone axe. No. No stone axe is required. Alright, anything in here? We have a bandage. Yeah, I guess I'll take it. By golly, we're gonna need it. <laughs> by George, are we gonna need that thing? Yes, yes, we are. Alright, it's gonna get the arrows back, and then it's just gonna just smash this toilet up. That should be good. I think we can smash the bath up pressure. Iron, too, right? Oh, and it gives me mechanical class. Nice. Very cool. See, these things actually give you quite a hefty amount of resources, don't they? Very good, very good. Um, okay, so then under here, we have our wrench, we're going to need our shovel, which is the green one now, or the yellow, the yellow one, I should say. There you go, so yeah, doing slightly more damage now, which is pretty good. And uh, let's have a look and see what's in here. So this one has glue and nails. And this one. Uh, it's just cobblestone. Okay, so yeah, nothing too much in there. Let's go for this one. And then finally, for this one. Okay. So now we make our way back down here. And can I get out? Oh, actually, that's the thing. Can I get out? Uh oh. Where do I get out? That's the that's the question I have. It's like where do I go? Oh hang on, yeah, there's um someone else. Okay, so this is the last room, so where do I go to to leave? I just stand on here, I gotta like, hack my way out. Okay, um I guess I can just bring my way out here. So this is, I'm like I'm caught in a cellar right now. And that's not good. Okay, yeah, so let's go and get some frames. I get five of these. I'm never going to try this blunderbuss on a zombie in a minute. Because I think that could be fun. What could be fun than trying a blunderbuss on a zombie? Mind you, a nearly broken blunderbuss, mind you, yeah. But yeah, what, what could be so fun about that? You guys like everything? Like, absolutely everything? Why not? So let's see, where do we get out? This way? Yep. Alright then. Hello, Nelly. Meet my blunderbuss! Haha! That's what you get. Yes, I am armed to the teeth. Well, our blunderbuss. How do I get my blunderbuss then, anyway? Let's have a look. Because I'm sure we will be able to make more blunderbuss ammo. So we can get blunderbuss ammo here. It's just small stones, gunpowder, and paper. Yeah, that's, not too, that's not too bad. Although, it does take two gunpowder per craft rather than one. So that's kind of a... Kind of a bad side to it. It's not that cheap to craft it, but I think it does stun the zombies or something, so it's pretty good. All right. Well, let's take our way back because I think we are again over encumbered and we need to stretch some stuff off. So we definitely want to go do that first. And it will come around this way. Come through here. And here is our base. This is our base, our lovely base. All right, and then let's see how many episodes did we record here? Uh, quite a few. But yeah, let's get forged iron. There you go, ten forged iron. Because unfortunately, we don't really have that much iron going into this thing. But that's fine. We've got these guys. And I guess we can start putting in pipes as well, because we can just craft those back anyway. There you go. So ten seconds for those. Alright, so yeah, lots of iron is now going in, which is very good. So that's looking off to a good start. 
then everything else just needs to be pretty much put away and we're done. So tell you what guys, I'm going to go put everything away really quick off camera, and once I've done it, I will be right back. Alright guys, we are back, everything is now organised and looking a bit better now, so I've gone ahead and uh, continued getting some more iron melt up in here. As you can see more flow stone is coming out. Now one thing I do need to get is a cooking grill. Um, I'm going to need one of those in order to get some awesome things like, for example, um, grilled meat, right? So we're going to go ahead and craft a cooking grill in here because there's only, it's only 31 iron and 6 clay, so it's not actually that big of a deal to get one of these things. And I'm also going to go ahead and split the iron up here as well. Just just so we can actually start melting it faster. The other thing I'm going to do is start going ahead and looking at other things we can make. Like, for example, um, we can get iron arrowheads soon, I believe, if we come into here. Yes, we can get iron arrowheads right here. So that's really cool. We're going to go ahead and start getting some of these. So I get 219 iron arrowheads right now. And I think we're going to start those because uh, having iron arrows is going to be better than having stone ones. And I definitely think that's going to be a good uh, a good investment over time. Um, I Yeah, so I am getting hungry. So I've got myself uh, some meat right here, which I Actually gives me 15 health which is really good so 15 health from that is a really good thing um, I need to fill up more water jars at some point but we should have enough for now so I'm also gonna go ahead now and if we put the cooking pot on or the cooking grill in here we should be able to get grilled meat before long as well so where is my where is my grill I don't think I took it off the forge it's probably still here yes it is okay so yeah let's go and grab our grill and then we're going to come back to... My mouse is like freezing up on me again, sorry about that. Come back to here, let's go and put the grill on. And then we should be able to get uh, grilled meat, right? Yes, now you can get grilled meat. So it takes five meat to get one of these grilled. I also cooked up the coffee that I had as well into actual coffee. This will be used for when I go mining, for example. Um, so yeah, give me some coal resist and stamina region at 20% is really good. So slightly better than red tea. Seeking of red tea, I probably should... Um, drink any more if I have it. I do not. How's my hydration anyway? Actually, the hydration's full, so we should be alright. Um, I think then we just need to work on the grill meat. So, grill meat is uh, plus 5 health, and max stamina bonus is plus 10. So let's get a load of these crafted up here. Let's get like 10 of them. And that should be enough for a, a good while, right? And then we can... How long is that going to last? So, let me just stop the fuel here. Take this, uh, take this amount of wood off here. Because it's going to take less than that time. Yeah, so I don't want to burn through all the wood, so let's go ahead and turn it on and that can go crafting while we are doing other stuff so that's good so yeah everything's good here we've got 22 more forge iron coming in here and overall yeah we're doing good so you know what? i'm gonna save my double barrel shotgun for later we're gonna use the blunderbuss for now um so you may as well keep this guy back in here with the shells and i can use the blunderbuss for whatever ammo i've got for now until we run out so yeah i think i'll use that first because the double barrel shotgun is slightly more powerful um so that's gonna be better for us in the long run Alright, so yeah, we still need to be going and pretty much uh, seeing what we can do in terms of getting more loot, so we're going to have to find another place to go ahead and loot now. Let's see if we can get anything good. Uh, I should take my jars with me again. I always forget to take my jars. I'm just like, yeah, let's go looting. And I'm just like, oh yeah, the jars that I didn't take again. It's like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have to sell that out at some point. But there we go. So do I have any more skill points to spend? Do we level up at all yet? We didn't, so we've got a little while to level. Um, yeah, so we've got a little while to level up yet, so... Bit of a weight on our hands, but let's see what other buildings are around here that we can go in. So pretty much this area is completely full of houses. There's not really, not really anything else that good. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, definitely don't want, definitely do not want to go in the bear then yet, because that'll be uh, you, you're just looking to die if you go in there. Yeah, fight the bears and drink for free. You know, sounds good in theory, but in practice, it's a very, very bad idea. Um, so you know what, we're going to go ahead and look around the town a little bit more. Just to see what else is around here, because it would be nice to just kind of uncover some more of the town that's nearest us. Um, and kind of get more of an idea about what's going on here. So yeah, sounds like a good idea. Yeah, oh, there's a Z over here as well. So let's go ahead and get the one of us lined up with them. Here we go. Nice. Awesome. The one of us is always very fun to use. See a house over there. Hmm. So what else is over here? So there's some houses over there. Some garage over here. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, I didn't reload it. There we go. Reload it. Okay, here we go. Got him. Man, that's, that's satisfying. That is very satisfying. Just... <laughs> it's like, yes! It's like the most those awesome, uh, the most awesome thing ever. Um, okay, so what's in here? There's some... A spiky garage. 
some run up here. See, there's a house here that we could loot. There's, there's, a, and there's honestly lots of houses we could loot, so I'm really not sure which one we, we should do first. That door is locked, and I don't see anything decent in there. Okay. Well, where are we going already? Well, I, I actually just got over my hunger, and again, I'm already hungry. Uh, typical. Come out here all the way, pretty far away from base, and then my character's like, I'm hungry. It's like, God damn it, really? Okay, so there's a uh, dude over here. Hello, you're not looking too. You're not looking too high. Nice. Yeah, his blunderbuss could just like completely destroy them. That is uh, very awesome if I do so to myself. So, how do we get in this house anyway? This seems like wherever you go, wherever you go, you're kind of blocked off here. But I would think that there is a. Uh, I think you've got to jump off that roof into the garage here, but this door is locked. Oh, hang on. Said a rabbit. Where are you? Hang on. Use my animal tracking. Let's have one, so he's going to be up here, right? Yeah, here you are. Get the rabbit! There he is. Right, let's go and kill this guy. Come back here, rabbit. Wait, try to run, huh? Come on. Ah, oh, can't swing because I'm out of stamina. Okay, come on, we can get this guy. Yeah, okay, again, can't swing because I'm out of stamina. Ah, oh, okay, you know what? I'm going to be nice and let you get away today. But I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, so what is out here anyway? So now we're back on like an outer, we're now like back on an outer town path. So let's go and have a look and see what's around here. Um, so yeah, this is, this area is actually above the town. So it looks like the town we're in isn't actually that big um, from where we are. So yeah, we're actually in kind of a small town. So I'm guessing we're going to have to explore further to find bigger towns eventually. That's cool. Uh, okay, you know what? We can actually uh, just scrap these frames now, can't we? Because yeah, we don't need them. Put the knife back on my bar. There you go. I'm going to harvest this thing. Because this thing will give me more rotten flesh, which I will need. So we'll take those. Um, so yeah, what's over here? There's a big yellow house. Should we loot the big yellow house? I think we should loot the big yellow house. That sounds like a very good looting spot, yes. Yes, let us loot the big yellow house. Aye, 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 Capitan. So let's go and see what we got in here. So how do we get in? Uh, oh, we have someone wanting to come at me here. Get down. Got him. So yeah, this blunderbuss is pretty good at destroying everything. So very nice at one-shotting things. And we got no honey from there, but we got some wood, so that's kind of okay, I guess. So where do we go here? So ah, okay, I'm guessing we have to go through here, uh, or not? How do you get in this place? That's locked as well. Hello, anyway in? Somebody help me! I can't get in the big yellow house! Hmm. Nothing there. Okay, yeah, so is is there actually any actual entrance into this thing? Uh, I don't know. It, it would seem that you would go in here, but it, it appears not. It seemed like you would maybe try and go in here as well, but again... It appears not. Ah, I see. Right, right, you gotta climb up here. Okay. I'm guessing there's going to be vultures on this roof, so you might have to be a bit careful here. Okay, so there is a way there, but there's also a way over here. So there's, there's kind of two ways around around over here. So I'm going to come over here. So send us to come here. Okay, so then I guess we have to go over this way. Yeah, it is send us to go this way. Oh, look, there's some cobblestone right here as well. Very nice. There's a bit of junk there, but that's fine. Let's go through this way. Let's see, anyone in here? Alright, here we go. So now I gotta be sneaky, there's a nurse right there. Cool. And you are dead. Haha. -ha. What else in here? There is a bag right here. The okay, for some reason I have to look down at the lower shelf to look. Okay, interesting. Jars and a can, we can scrap it. Alright. So there's lots of coal up here, which is nice. Okay, so we gotta go up to the next level. Okay. So who'll be up here? Who'll be here? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and smash this up. Hmm. Ah, I see you. A couple of crawlers here. So you got one right there. And we got one right here. Nice. Let's get rid of those little buggers. 
So I do not need these guys coming after me. So yeah, lots of couples in this house. This is going to be a good one. Okay, try down here. Okay, monster closet. Right there. Okay, I see you. How can I get you? Can I get you from here? There we go. Okay, he's out. Very good. So let's get this guy down. Okay, anyone in here? No? No one? Okay, there must be something on the shelf though. Yeah, arrow power. If I can get it. There you go, one arrow power, what have we got here? Oh, more shotgun shells and 7.62s, nice. Don't hit them. Alright, duck down again. And let's keep going through this way. So, that monster closet is now empty. Okay, good. So don't have to worry about those anymore. And let's come through this way. Okay, this house is kind of... very open. Okay. Anything in here? Paper. Okay, so nothing much. Someone heard me. Oh, that's right. Unlock the door. What have we got here? Any sleeves in here? And we're just like crammed into this room. Uh, nope, there's a bag right here, so let's have a look in there. What have we got in the bag? So in the bag we have... Oh, a hunting knife tier one. I'll take that. Very good. And we also have some water. Very nice. Yeah, this. Is, I, I have to try this thing. Oh, they even made a new model for the hunting knife. Look. That's cool. Alright, so let's open this door. You know, I want to try... Um, I want to try something here. I want to try a sneak attack with a knife and see if we can do it. Let's see, so there's a couple here. But apparently this does like 400% damage if we can pull it off. Okay, so someone there. Can I get this one? Careful. Very quietly. Got him. Nice, yeah, sneak damage 5.5 times. That's really powerful. So yeah, this is pretty good. We can kind of like sneak over. Oh, she woke up. Dang it. Okay. We can get you down there normally. Okay, so sneak attack didn't work for both of them, but it worked for one of them, so that's pretty good. Oh, there's a bag in the two pots in here. So in the bag we have... Oh, a pilot here too. Nice, so wear this thing, and then we can modify this thing. And take off the light, and then wear this thing, modify this thing, then put on the light. Go, okay. and then uh, yeah, wear that thing. Cool. Nice. But yeah, the mining, the mining helmet definitely makes things a lot lighter if we need it to be. Okay, so who's out here? Oh, a monster right there. So anyone in here? Kind of come around the corner, just. Check. Any sneaky ones? Nope. There's a bag in here. What's in the bag? So in the bag we have... Oh, canned food. Nice. You know what? That ration we can eat because I don't think it gives us anything... Yeah, it doesn't uh, give us anything there, so that's fine. We can eat that thing and that will help us with our hunger. This thing doesn't give us anything either, so again, just eat that and get rid of it. And then we get some extra cans. We can just scrap them. Alright, so now we're still at the top of the house, but we're working our way slowly, surely downwards. Alright, so yeah, this hunting knife is actually pretty good to do some sneak damage with. Anyone in here? Nope, no one in here, that's fine. What's in here? So in here we have a can, some nitrate. Yeah, I guess we could take the nitrate for extra gunpowder, can't hurt. In here, nothing in the bin. Anything in the toilet? We have, yeah, some stuff in there. Okay, a little bit of stuff, not too much, but enough, so it's all good. Enough stuff. Now come down. Keep an eye over that way. Okay, so let's see now. So you got a choice of direction to go that way or this way. Let's go. Let's go this way first. So like this might be just a dead end anyway. No one in here. Alright, so let's see if I can. Jump up here. Yep. There's a bag. Got it. So what's in this bag? Uh, okay, nothing much in there. Just one thing. One jar. That's fine. May as well go and just check, just in case. Okay, and in this room? Nope, but there is a hidden bit back here with a suitcase. Thank you very much. Nothing in it. And let's go ahead and smash right through here. Let's see. Who is in here, I wonder? Anyone? 
Hmm. See anyone here? Take this out. Right. Around the corner. Around the jolly corner. As my dear old granddad would say. Um, oh, there we go. Some steroids. Nice. I'll take those. They can help me with uh, encumbering. And then we've got four more jars of water. Nice. Get some through here. The old food pile in the kitchen here. Oh, hello. I see. Right over there. Got him. Oh, that was nice. Nice little shot. I got him straight, straight in the, straight in the face, and down he went. Okay, so oh, anyone behind here? No. Okay, so this room is pretty clear, I think. Okay, let's go through here. Anyone here? Anyone in this room? <laughs> okay, come off this junk. Hmm. Seems like there should be something in here. But there is not. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, right. There's nothing in here. Nothing in there. Okay. I thought there'd be somebody in here at least, but I guess it isn't. However, now we go to the basement. So let's see what's down in the basement. Down in the basement. Get down. Okay, so grab this one. And uh, can you search this? Yeah, I think can search this thing. In the washer we have ooh, a jacket. I guess I can wear that, because we don't have any we don't have one like that yet. Some laundry. Oh, hello. BD bottoms. Wear those. Better than what I've got. Oh wait, no, those are the same. Okay. Uh, oh, you know what? I bet it's going to be Z in the ceiling, isn't there? Because look, there's uh, a too high gap in here. So I bet there's going to be something in here. Well, maybe there'll be something hidden in here as well. It could, it could be either way. It could be a zombie or it could be something hidden. Something hidden. Look at that. There's a little pile of stuff here. A small medical pile with a vitamin. Nice. Take that, definitely. Alright, so now we're down in this little bar section. One behind here. Nope, no one there. Alright. So it looks like there's a, a movie in play in today. So I don't know what it is, but it looks like there's something. There's nothing here. I'll do that in a minute. I'm kind of more thinking about what's down here. What if I fire at this? Ah, you sneaky buggers. Alright, yeah, then first thing in there. Alright, here we go. So let's go ahead and get these ones down. Little buggers, look at that. Sneaky a sneaky zombie uh, a sneaky zombie ambush right there. And it could have gone very well too. Alright, let's see if I can break through this cloth here. Okay, is there anything through here? Get my arrow back. Okay, oh, okay, so there's a little entrance through here. I hope we don't find a dog in here. Let's go and grab our arrows back. Thank you. Nice, so yeah, we'll grab them. Yeah, don't, uh, yeah, gotta be careful. Down I think there might be a dog down here. Would be very typical of this kind of place. Let's have a little look, shall we? No one in here? No. Okay. Nothing up there? Nope. Alright. Still very wary, though. There's something big down here. I can feel it. I feel it in my butt. Uh-oh! Whoa! Hello. Wow, where'd you come from? Alright, hello. So we got some, uh, some combat. Nice. Wow, okay, that was, uh, that was something. So I'm guessing then that we're going to be in these walls here. Okay. So here. Okay, not there. Here. There we go, okay. Over in one of these. Aha. Okay, so there's one over here. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, yeah. You, the gig is up now. You can't, you can't get me. You can't get me twice in a row with the same tricks. You've got to come up with something new. All right. So yeah, that's done. That's done. Yeah. Every, oh, I could. I could have just come back here and got them as well. I guess. But that's right. Let's get these random floating arrows. Any arrows just like left lodged in their bodies as well. Man, it's gonna be so good getting all the cobblestone down here. They're gonna come up with tons of it. Okay. 
Anything in this room? Oh, hello. Something behind here? Nope. Okay, so it's right through here. Right, what is down here? The loot room, but... I don't know, something seems off. Something seems really off about it. Where does this lead to? The garage? Okay. Are up in there? Zombies in here? No? Okay, maybe that's it. Okay, so there's a large food pile here. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, golden rotis, nice, and some other food. I guess that's not using anything. That is used in stuff though, that one. I know that. So yeah, we'll keep that one and then I can drink these golden rotis to help with hydration a bit. Very good. Cool, that was a good, uh, that was a good find then. Okay, so go and get the loot from downstairs and I guess we'll get our stone shovel out and then start harvesting the uh, the cobblestones because uh, we're going to need those so drop that, take this and here we go alright yeah so we'll start harvesting cobblestone as well because we're going to need it and we can go ahead and loot all the bits that we didn't quite get to for now so yeah that's very nice okay so we'll grab all that and hopefully by the end of this episode we'll level up again guys okay so that's done, come down here and grab this one very good, very good and done cool so let's go down here and let's open up all this stuff here. So there's a weapons bag. And here what do we get? We get a oh, a tempered blade mod. Okay, that does um increases this blade modification increases block damage by ten percent and lowers degradation by fifteen percent. Yes. Uh modify this. Add it to that. Nice. So extra block damage for my pharynx. Or for my well, yeah, for the pharynx. Excellent. Another bandolier which you can sell. Alright, medical pile. Uh, splints. You know, I guess we'll take blood bags as well because those are those are good. We can only find those. We can't craft them. So, what have we got here? We have sniper volume five. Control breathing. Then hold your breath to eliminate all barrel sway and know your target. Zooming is fifteen percent less stamina. Nice. Uh, better up volume one. Big hits. Knock the knock the ball out of the park with this technique. Do ten percent more damage with clubs. Excellent. So take that. Scrap that. A pipe bomb and some seven six twos. Nice. So we got some really good ammo here. Let's take this. Um, where is this box open? What have we got in here? So, stone shovels, so yeah, just scrap them. Don't need those. And then we've got a shock of a sire box. And inside this, we're going to have. Ooh, a tier 4 spear. Interesting. Not that I want it, so we'll take that and then we'll scrap that for the iron. Because yeah, I'm not too worried about that armor in particular. In here, we have. Ooh, hello, a uh, fortifying grip. Uh, put that on my bat. Because that will give me extra health. Yeah, when health is low 50%, gave one hit point every five seconds. Nice. Yeah, the fortifying grip is definitely, definitely a good one to get. Definitely take that. Okay, so that's all that stuff done. So yeah, some very good loot and mods down here. I am impressed. I am very impressed. I'm very happy with that. So we'll, we'll take that. Okay, so nothing in there really. Uh, okay, let's go out here and start, I guess, grabbing all the cobblestone that we can. So I think this place is pretty much completely cleared now, so we don't have to worry too much about any more zombies coming our way, which is nice. And then we can go ahead and harvest all the cobblestone here, because this place has like loads of it. So I definitely want to take advantage of that and harvest it all, because that's going to be used to build our base later. So I think, you know, getting as much as we can right now will save us like last minute panics and getting it later. So yeah, that's a good thing. There's a fridge down here. Is there anything up here? Looks like it'd be a good spot to hide a bag or something. But no, it appears there is nothing here. Okay. Man, the one time I get an idea of where something could be here, there's, there's nothing there. Okay. Oh, I think I attracted a zombie. Yeah, I attracted a zombie. Okay, yeah, I tried several zombies. Okay. Oh, and I think there's still some sleepers in there too. Red tea. Efficient digestion. Drink it. Okay, so you get red tea from here. Oh, look, we found our first beer. Nice. Yeah! Uh oh. Sounds like a wandering horde is coming. Oh yeah, there's a wandering horde coming. Okay, where are these guys? Okay, they're all above me. Okay, let's loot everything and get out of here. Okay, take that. Oh man. Where are they? Okay, they haven't found me yet. Oh look, there's a hidden medical pile up here too. Look at that. Uh, turn on gunpowder. Nice. Oh yeah, they're, they're all in here, aren't they? 
But where are they? Okay, get upstairs, get upstairs. Get upstairs. Get ready. Okay, oh, here they come. Here they come. Alright. Combat begins. Gotcha. Where are they breaking the wind? Okay, so some of them come this way. Okay, they're, they're, they're coming that way. Okay. I guess we'll help them out. Let them in. So, Wandering Horde is coming. Okay. Alright, there we go. Back up. Okay, you know what? Take the beer. Use it. So, we're gonna need it. Good thing we found this. There we go. Who's that? Knock him out. Okay, oh, there's a spike here. Look at that. Go on. We can power attack for, for days here. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Back, 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 back. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Get over here. Right, the veil wore off. Okay, here we go. Okay, we got a biker coming. Okay, come over this way. Okay. Got caught in spikes. Come on. Oh. Okay, come back this way. Right, oh, up. nice. Uh, right, get the hunting knife. Here we go. Okay, oh, I got him with the shovel. Nice. I meant to get the knife, but I got him with the shovel. Alright. That kind of me. Okay, go! Mister! Gotcha. And you! Nice. Oh! Well, that was a battle and a half, wasn't it? Wow. Whew! That was definitely a battle and a half. Oh, man. That was fun. That was real fun. Look at that. Okay, we've got some coffee. Look, nice. Excellent. So we've got some coffee. Okay, let's go ahead and keep looting in here then. So... Oh, God, we are getting hungry again, aren't we? Damn it. Okay, so we're going to have to hopefully find some more food here. Because, yeah, I think doing that many power attacks really takes... I've noticed that. It seems that like doing power attacks really takes out of your hunger. Like, in a big way. It's not just like... It's not like Alpha... It's not like Alpha 18 where, you know, you could kind of get away with it. It will take a ton out of your hunger. Oh, and look, now we can craft uh, gunpowder, right? Yes, we can. So we can do these. It takes uh, two and two. So I guess we'll get what we can here with the coal. There you go. We'll add that to our stock. And eventually we can get some more blunderbuss ammo because that's really fun to use as well. Uh, for now, let's go and grab this. And the knife is really fast at harvesting this stuff as well. So we'll definitely harvest the um, harvest the blinds and stuff with the knife. We're the best tool we can use. There you go. And there's plastics here. There you go. So yeah, knife is really fast at harvesting that. So definitely take that. Okay, is there anything else down here? Hmm, don't think so. And there's cloth right here, which we can get, I guess. Is there anything behind here? Yes, yeah, some cloth right there. Okay. Oh, I thought I saw something there then as well. I was getting ready to panic. I was like, oh god. I was like, what is that? And I was like, nope, it's nothing. It's fine. Oh, actually, we can get coal out of this, right? There we go. More gunpowder. Three more gunpowder. Excellent. Yeah, I forgot we can get coal out of just random fire patches too, so that could that could be handy. Right, trash can patch just has brass in it. Is there anything else in here that we can we can grab? Uh, oh yeah, food pile right here. What is in here? We have chicken soup. Is this using anything? No, so we can use that. Get a little bit of hunger back. Uh, or get get a little bit of hunger gone, I should say. Not really back. We're not, we're not getting more hungry by eating, are we? Well. You never know. With, with my body, the way it works right now, could be could be completely the opposite. <laughs> my body, you eat and you get hungrier. <laughs> it's just just the way my body works. Okay, so let's go and grab the knife here. One, two, done. Uh, it is getting late, so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful. Just harvest that as well. Um, I think we should probably get the wrench out here as well and take apart this bed because the beds will have some good stuff, and I can scrap that for iron as well. There we go. And then, can I get Blood of Us ammo here? Yeah, I can probably make some ammo. Just to use up the stuff there. There we go. 12 more Blood of Us ammo. Perfect. So yeah, we can use this. I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather use this and save my better ammo for later. So definitely do that. Right, here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Done. Oh, and I didn't search this desk either. So in this desk, we have a bandana. We can wear it. Oh, actually, we can scrap it even. Oh, is there anything hidden up here? No, it's just a steel block, so nothing good. I, I send the thing, but like, oh, maybe there's something up there we can, we can use, but that's fine. Okay, anything in there that I want? Oh, yeah, jars. Let's take those. Take the jars, of course. That is fine. Uh, anything else, then, that I didn't grab? I think we grabbed everything in this room. Yeah, other than that, then I think it's just literally the cobblestone pallets up the top. And that is literally it. So let's go into here. Come through here. 
Planning cannon has already been looted. Um, oh yeah, this thing can wrench it apart for mechanical parts. So definitely do that. And then this thing for springs. Perfect. Okay, so we'll take all those out as we go. Uh, anything else in here? I lose all this here, so now I'm back up the stairs. And it's time to put the wrench away, get out the shovel again, and then we can do all these cobblestone parts here. But yeah, my character unfortunately is hungry. We're hungry! My character's hungry! But yeah, we'll find uh, we'll find a more of a food source soon. Don't worry, character. We have we have grilled meat at home, so just do this simple tiny task for you right now. And then you can have all the grilled meat you like. My character's like, I don't want grilled meat, damn it! I want proper food. I don't want rabbit food. And that, I think you'll find that the grilled meat is not around. Shut up! <laughs> okay, how much does this got? 2,000 health? Yeah, way too much. Uh, can I race there? Got 1,000 health. Yeah, not worth it. I was going to say, I maybe could grab the, the coal out of that, but definitely not worth it. The amount of work I have to do just to get to it. Nah, we can do better. Okay, so grab these ones. Very good. Perfect. And I think then we can drop down here. There's more cobblestone here. Very good. So grab them as well. There's loads of these blue boxes here. And then we can do another one over here. Excellent. So take up all the cobblestone parts that we can. And then there's this one over here. Now we're getting a good amount here. Very good. So 175 more cobblestone just from all the just from this house, which is very nice. And look, there's even more two more two more last ones waiting for us right here. There you go. So I wonder how many cobblestones I got from this house in total. We'll have to see. So I'm sitting at 240 from that, but I think from the whole house we got like a ton more. Uh, can I get any more blunder bus ammo? I think it's I think it's stones we need, right? Uh, actually, yeah, I tell you what, we can get more blunder bus ammo though. No way. So what I can do is go back into this other room because up there was a concrete pallet, right? So I can come, hang on, come here, come. Okay, now that I've got rid of this pallet, it's going to be a little bit harder to get up here, but I think we can do it still. Okay. There you go. Done it. And I can grab this thing. Because this thing will give me a little bit of cement, and I can scrap up the stones. I can do that with blunderbuss ammo as well. So there we go. So grab that, scrap the stones, it's take like 42 seconds, and then I can grab more blunderbuss ammo after that, which is awesome. So let's go and do that. So now we need to get out of here. And oh, you know what? I never searched this at Larry, did I? Yeah, and there's, there's nowhere in the building that actually leads you out here, so. Alright, let's have a look here. Oh, three more gunpowder, look at that. So we're finding a bit of gunpowder here, and rotten flesh, and glue. Alright, okay, so in this door here. Let's go and smash our way through the door. And I think this just leads to the garage where the loot is, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, so this just leads to here, and this is where we found um, the last bit of loot. So the last little hidden stash is right there. Alright, well I think that's pretty much everything in here then. That's all we can find. So now I'm just going to get out of here, which is going to be a case of just jumping on this. Jumping over that. Excellent. And I am out. I'm out. Oh, there's even a shopping cart right here, which has two mineral water in it. There you go. Efficient digestion, hell yes. That give me um, five minutes of it, so let's drink both of them. That help me with double efficient digestion. Okay, so Thompson dysentery chance gives you no max stamina bonus. Yeah, so that's really cool. So front flesh doesn't give you a stamina bonus anymore. That's pretty nice. Pretty pretty standard. Um, okay, let's go ahead and make our way back home then. And we're gonna go and drop all the stuff back off. And I think after that, I I guess we're gonna be a good point to end off the episode. So I did level up though, so I think we got one more skill point to go ahead and spend. So what we're probably gonna do with this one. Is under the strength tree. Got Sedge Repair and Source 2, didn't I? Master Chef, we can get level 2 now. Yeah, that's the thing. Master Chef, we could get level 2 if we wanted to. Um, steak and potatoes, meat stew, vegetable stew, blueberry pie, and several pumpkin dishes. Cook 20% faster. So that's that's pretty good. Um, we could either get that, or we could start working up more in the Fortitude tree. But, you know, I don't think we need to. I've got one healing patch, and that's doing me good for now. So, you know, what? I'm going to work up the intellect tree, then. Uh, we're going to start getting up in here. So, yeah, robotic turrets, we have more chance to get up here. But there we go, so we can go and do that. And there we go. So that's pretty much everything done. So now we just have to head home. Which we're going to do very slowly, of course, because we are, like, over-encumbered to high heaven. So it's going to be... 
pretty slow going here. I think I actually traveled quite a way to this house. Yeah, I did. I traveled like a long way to get to this house. However, look, there is, on the way back, as you can see, there is, we're actually going to pass by a location where I can fill up some jars, right? For what I'm do. So look, I've got 18 jars here. So why don't we go ahead and make our way down here? Oh, and look, it's raining now. The, ra the rain's kicking in, guys. My character is slowly but surely getting wet. Okay. So yeah, and it looks like um, that with the hydration, it slowly but surely fills up as well, which is pretty good. So it will um, it will kind of keep it. It will kind of keep you over the top until you need it, which is pretty cool. So it kind of shows how much over hydrated you are. So it will keep filling up. That's pretty nice. I like that. Okay. So yeah, hydration is just go down pretty quick. When you think about it. Yeah, it actually does. Yeah down to 15. Maybe it doesn't last as long or something, I don't know. Uh, okay, so there's the pool. Go and fill up here. Is there anything down there? Oh, hang on. There's a safe down here. Hang on a second. Let's go and lockpick it. Let's see if we can get in here. That's cool, there's safes underwater. Oh, okay, nope, that's not doing any yet. Right, try again before we start drowning. Okay, so we got 46 seconds left. Let's try and break into the safe underwater. Why anyone will keep a safe down here, I don't know idea. But we got it. So quick looking here. Oh, an AK-47! Nice! Alright, so now I don't need to sell my 762s because we actually have a gun that can utilize them. Nice! Now from what I heard, they did nerf the AK quite a bit. Um, so the AK now is nowhere near as good as it was in prior alpha versions. But you know what, I don't mind that, because then it kind of gives more of a progression, right? Because then there's the tier 2 machine gun now, and then the M60 is the tier 3 one. So yeah, that's pretty good. So the AK now does you know, 37 range damage. So yeah, it's not, it's not so good. It used to be like 50-something. 50 so, 50 um, but yeah, so they've reduced it quite a bit. But I guess once you get to like tier 4 or 5, you will start to get high damage. Oh, they... Wow. One shot. It's night time. Oh boy. Oh, look how the lighting changed here. Well, it actually got lighter. But it's like a, a reddish sky. Does that mean that something bad's gonna happen? I don't know. Well, we just had a wandering horde, so... I don't think anything too bad's gonna happen here. But let's head back to the base and get everything dropped off here, and then we should be good to go ahead and end off the episode. So let's go and drop here. I just gotta watch out for those predatory animals and things like that. Right, this forge now has run out of uh, run out of stuff, um, so let's go ahead and add some more. And I guess like one piece of charcoal we can put in there. Yeah, charcoal is actually quite a decent burn time. And then a little bit of extra wood right there. There we go, and that'll keep that running for longer. And what else do I want to start grabbing out of here? Um, I guess... So look in here. I guess we can start working on like uh, iron bars and stuff like that. And that takes 125 iron each, so it's actually not that cheap. So I can only get two right now. But I can start working on that, or I could just like wait, I guess, and go from there. Uh, yeah, empty water jars can get more iron nail shot iron pipe. Yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and do this. Like we'll go and craft 34 forged iron here, and then go from there. Excellent. So we can craft 34 of them, let that run, and then get back inside. Here we go. Ah, finally back to our lovely base, guys. So let's go ahead and uh, drop off everything that we need. And then, I think after that point, we are going to be at a pretty good point to go ahead and end off the episode. So let's go and just drop this all in. Uh, oh yeah, now I should be able to craft the rest of the blunderbuss hammer, right? So seven, I can get three more of them now. Which is pretty nice. And now what we're going to do is in this one, I'm going to put my AK with the 762s and we're going to start uh, hoarding 762s as well, as well. So for Horde Knight, we should be pretty good um, set up with an AK. I, th I think that's going to do us wonders, honestly. So there's Rotten Flesh here, which is going to be used for farming. Uh, this can go in my trader box because the Bandolier I'm going to sell. Pipe Bomb could be useful in Horde Knight as well, so we'll keep those for definite. But yeah, as I said, we're going to keep hold of the Blunderbuss for now. And then we got steroids, vitamins, these things here, nice. I guess sewing kits now actually count more as medical supplies because you use them for lacerations, right? They stop bleeding and they, um, they such lacerations as well. Uh, yeah, lose clothing armor and make modifications to them. You can also be used to treat bleeding and lacerations. Use the same reaction to treat another player. Yeah, so this is actually a medical supply now more than the crafting ingredients. So I think we'll put that in there to reflect that. And then these guys can go in here, the springs. Word to this stuff here. 
mechanical parts, bones, this. Um, so yeah, I definitely think as well we're going to have to invest in bigger storage boxes pretty soon. Because you can see we're already kind of running out of room, right? So yeah, we probably need to think about that. Uh, do we have any more gunpowder in here? Mm, yes, we do. I have three more gunpowder in there. So you know what? I can craft two more um, blunderbuss ammo with those. So that's going to do that. So two more blunderbuss ammo. There you go, because Blunderbuss ammo is pretty... Blunderbuss is, if you're good with it, it's pretty good in the pinch. But you had to be, like, kind of half-decent aiming with it. So before we end off, though, I'm going to go and get my my uh, campfire crafting more glue, because I know for a fact we're going to need it. Oh, look, here's our, here's our meat, so that should help me a bit as well. So that should give me a load of health back. So yeah, right now we're level 8, so yeah, we should now be able to go ahead and do that. And then we won't get too much damage to our max stamina. So yeah, as you can see, our character is quite hungry, so we're going to need to eat six of these. Maybe like seven of these. Then that should put my character back in slightly better standing, right? So yeah, we should be good. Um, so yeah, we need a little bit of wood for that for that campfire to run. And then we can go ahead and craft all the glue that we're going to need. So Oh, I never actually grabbed it, did I? Okay, so I think 14 wood would be just fine. And then you can go in here, and then we can get glue. There you go, very good. So 6 minutes 34, and I have 11 minutes 40 of burn time. I'm already half that then. Uh, 6 minutes 40, perfect. Use those. Done. Excellent, and now we can go ahead and craft that up, and we should be pretty good now. Alrighty. Okay guys, so I think now we're at a pretty good point to end off the episode, so I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye!